They lived on the steeps of the old world, raiding and pillaging and sweeping across the landscape, destroying all in their path. Find out who we're talking about coming up next. Hello once again, model kit builders and Warhammer fans everywhere. My name is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So today we are talking about the original Goblin Wolf Riders. This is a very old box of models. It's got a lot of wear and tear on it, and you can barely see the picture, it's so dark. <laughs> However, today we're gonna unbox this great model kit and take a look at a real blast from the past something that we can all enjoy and have fun with. So before we do this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound the notification bell so every time I make a new video, you are the first one to see it. And if you love these old models, don't forget to check out what we have available for you now at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Today we're going to be looking at a very old box of Goblin Wolf Riders, and as you can see this box is kind of battered up in the corners and whatnot. It is one that I got from a friend, from a collection from his friend, that was started a long time ago, and these guys luckily were not really touched too badly inside as far as building goes. The Goblin Wolf Riders come from a time before 2008 when of course these were really used widely in Warhammer Fantasy as a great fast cavalry goblin unit. The last fantasy appearance of the Goblin Wolf Riders was in the Warhammer 8th edition fantasy book and here of course is the best picture of these ever with a couple of awesome looking banners thrown in as well. The Goblin Wolf Riders get, did get an update for the 2015 version of Warhammer Age of Sigmar where they became the Grot Wolf Riders and were mounted on these really cool looking cavalry bases. Their War Scrolls still exist and they did actually have a points value all the way up until the 2020 General's Handbook but they are no longer shown in the 2021 version and these models did slowly just disappear out of Games Workshop uh, basically without any fanfare. They just disappeared. So that takes us back again into the past, basically maybe around 6th edition Warhammer Fantasy where we do get this great box of Goblin Wolf Riders. Now this is a very tall box and does show a lot of neat pictures photographs, of course, of our Goblin Wolf Riders and how the original Games Workshop Ard Boys team painted them all. Here's the back panel of the box showing our unit of 10 Wolf Riders up here mounted on their original square bases. And here we have all the paint colors of the past that used to go into these. And you can also build these guys carrying bows. Use them sort of like Genghis Khan uh, Mongolian wool, uh, archers, I guess, mounted archers. So they would be able to shoot in that 360 degree radius because, of course, when they charge forward and you need to shoot backwards, the rider is actually able to spin around in the saddle and fire in reverse, which was quite a interesting feat for the Mongolians back in the day. And this is sort of uh, to mirror that. Or you could also build them with a shield and a lance. Now this box does not come with an instruction sheet, however the instructions for assembling the models is printed on the end flap of the box, and it basically does give you enough of the information that you need. There's how your goblin goes together, you got your choice of the arrows and or the spear. Your wolves are in four pieces, two sides, a tail, and a head. And then down here you have your standard bearer, which can either be carrying a banner or a spear top. Now here we have a lot of plastic components and I have thrown some in Ziploc bags because as you've seen the condition of the box it's really battered up so I didn't want to lose anything out of corner flap that's ripped or whatever. So again I put the wolves and some of the riders that were half assembled into the bags as well as the bases and here are the remaining sprues. So in this kit there are a lot of duplicated parts trees. Here we have two that include the banner and the spear point. And here we have the other two, which includes the arms holding the spears and arms holding arrows and the goblin bodies. So here we have our first part sprue, 
And these are the goblins that are going to be riding the wolves. There's something cool about this because this sprue for the wolf riders is also the same parts tree as the regular standing archers that they had as an additional pack. So they do give you these little riding legs that are meant to go around the wolves, as well as these different arms here. And then we've got our nice goblin faces, which are bigger than the night goblins, in case you're wondering. We also have what looks like he's holding a horn here, maybe. Oh no, that's another head with uh, hair up there. And then here we have the quivers for the bows, the cape for the captain, the special wolf head with the metal on it for, metal helmet basically, for the champion rider. And then we've got our spears, and the one without the point is actually for the banner. So I can bring this up here. And again, you can see the nice detail on each of the goblin legs. Even for this vintage, which is from 2000, actually, you can see the legs on the back. So 2000, that's got to be just right at the beginning of 6th edition. Maybe even potentially 5th edition? I don't know. At any rate, there's those nice goblin heads. And again, you can see all the nice characters. Uh, very uh, cool looking faces. Like this guy yelling with a little pointed head uh, thing. The hat. It's almost like Mongolian style again. Very cool. Nice detail on the wolf cape. Again, on the wolf head. The quivers look like they're actually wrapped with something. Some, like, wolf skin or whatever. There's the hands holding the spears, which again are quite nice. The little wristbands, everything. These are great kits. Even this one, you got almost like he's throwing the spear. So again, very nicely done, especially for the uh, 2000 here. Our second sprue, of course, includes a banner and the arrowhead top here. Again, you can build these as archers or as guys with the spears. There's the different bodies here, and we've got our hand with the horn. There's a spare quiver, and then you've got your foot-mounted guys. So there's the standing legs, again, arrows and a cavalry saber as well as a guy holding a head from an unfortunate Empire guy, or maybe a Bretonian. And again, you can see the nice detailing, especially on all the little points, prickles on the uh, bodies here. Again, look at that nice arrowhead. you got the skulls in there and the feathers hanging off. There on our banner, we've got the little goat head up there. Again, very nicely done. Turning it over, you can see the great windings on the back of the banner tops. Very nicely done. There's the bodies. Looks sort of like the uh, bigger orcs, only, of course, they're smaller. So these goblins are actually the in-between size between night goblin size and orc size, or gloom spike gits and greenskins, as they are now in Age of Sigmar. But that's the size differences. So these little parts trees are actually the wolves, and as you can see, you do get ten of them. Now, whoever owned this before did build three of the wolves, so we'll take a look at those in a minute. But how many of you remember at one point you used to be able to buy bits from Games Workshop, and these wolves were part of the bits? Now, these wolves have been around for a very long time. They were molded in 1992, according to the date stamp on each of the parts trees. And I never really had problems with these wolves, although people thought they were kind of ridiculous. And then when you do see some of the wolves that have come in recent years, these things look really... well... I don't know. <laughs> now these wolf sculpts are not all the same. They do have basically the same head and tails. Uh, some have closed mouths, others are open. And you can also see the difference in the way the feet are. This one is more like pouncing and galloping kind of thing. And this one is more kind of stable onto the ground. What is nice about these, of course, is the detail of all the fur. And the goblins actually do fit really nicely onto these. I have built some in the past, but they got lost in the High River Flood, which is unfortunate. But again, I mean, look at the different types of plastic they have. The really light gray stuff is supposed to be really early Games Workshop plastic. Then they switched into this darker gray. So you can tell that these are quite vintage. And again, you can see Games Workshop stamp copyright date 1992. 
these things. I never had really any problems with them gluing together nicely or, you know, with lots of gaps as a problem. So again, these are really nicely molded and really nicely detailed. They're just not really up to our modern standard from Games Workshop. Here we have three wolves that are built up, but of course unpainted. And there is one missing his tail, so I'll have to look for that. But as you can see, these are the standard type wolf heads, which have the closed mouths. And this one is the one for the champion, which has a steel plated helmet on it. And then here we have one goblin that is built up, of course, to be an archer. So you can see on him, he is quite nicely done. Lots of great sculpting on here. Again, the quiver on the back, so he can draw an arrow and fire on uh, Wolfback. Now, as I was saying, you can see that the legs fit nicely into the wolf, and it gives them a really nice riding appearance. One thing about these models is they do actually look really nice all put together. Now, they're not as wild and crazy as our new goblins or uh, even orcs that we have. And the wolves are not as vicious and ferocious and insane looking as the newer sculpts. But for a very long time, this was the standard of wolves and the standard for goblins. And again, they do look great together. And, well, we can't really play these models anymore in Age of Sigmar unless you have old war scrolls and want to sort of fudge the points around and make it work, like through Legacy. That's actually quite good if you've got some legacy models you want to use. Look for the old Legacy War Scrolls from 2019 and adopt them for version 3.0 of Age of Sigmar. But at any rate, these would also make a nice looking diorama. And that completes our look at the very old Goblin Wolf Riders from Games Workshop probably around 6th edition Warhammer Fantasy. And if you've built these model kits in the past, maybe even way back in the distant past, used them in uh, Warhammer Fantasy 6th edition, or even up to the 2015 version of AOS, let us know down in the comment section below how you like building them and playing them. And please share your photos of your built-up models over on our Facebook page. That would be amazing. I'll leave the link for that in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video where I got to show you these great goblin wolf riders from the past. And if you love watching these unboxing videos of old model kits and reviews, as well as building and many other things, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. And also visit our website, www.monster-hobbies.ca, to see all our latest Games Workshop models and many other things that are available right now. And until next time, everyone, happy model building.